situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. I don't make her do anything she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live. It's all I can do, though. I don't know. She just asks me for things that she wants, like food or these complicated books. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the? She's got one! So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine though. He's a cat after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway... Let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. It... What the... She's... So someone can have a... Hey, m <laughs> Let's do it. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. 
While Mejid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? Then how was Mejid... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. <laughs> you have quite the wit. Very well, let's continue. We've yet to determine how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Mejid, seeing as they are unseen. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. All right. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Seriously? I can't. And that assembly had me bored to tears. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said, she's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjet. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? All right, let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. 
important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? That has to be the case. I definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? You sure live up to my expectations. All right. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. Futaba's room. Futaba-chan, you're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan, are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. No reaction whatsoever. Ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself, just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. All right then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. Looks like you should ask something to Looks Looks like Looks What? Die? Tomb? You think that's it? Try entering tomb! We got it! Yes, it was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. You idiot! Don't activate it here! Desert. Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the... Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. 
Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny. A tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. I'll make sure to put the AC on full blast. You're so considerate. <laughs> right. All right, let's roll. beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. How are the guys? Take this! Is that it? There we go. ain't working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. For real? You are so half-assed. What was that? You wanna fight, punk? Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid. Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead, hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. Oh, man. Let's do it. It seems... Indeed. Okay. Yes.
beautiful. Do you think so? Hey, is this? That's Futaba's shadow. It isn't the real her. Oh yeah, you've seen her face. True, this one's kind of dressed like a queen. So you're Futaba Sakura. <sighs> hey, where's the treasure? It's doubtful that you wouldn't know where it is. Hey, say something! Don't be like that! I'm sorry, Futaba-chan. It's okay, there's no need to be scared. So, can you tell us where your most treasured possession is? This is going nowhere. Let's just leave her. Will you guys shut up for a bit? Those who plunder my tomb, why have you come? She talked, but... What are you saying? You want us to steal it, right? If you believe you can steal it, then try as you might. That's rather defiant sounding. Perhaps this is that Sundere thing, where someone is harsh or sweet depending on the mood. Considering the state that my palace is in, there is no way that you can steal it. Creepy child! You killed her! You're a plague! What are these voices? Murderer! Why don't you say something?! Murderer? You're the one who killed it's her! It's your fault! This is horrible. Hey, the hell is this? Don't come Don't near just me! Don't stand there! Say something! It's your fault! Murderer! That's right. I did it. What? I am the one who killed my mother. What was that? My mother exists here. I will remain here. I will do so until I die. Close. She sees us as a threat now. What's going on? Hmm? This... again? Creepy child. You killed her! You're a plague with that murderer! Man? Why don't you say You're something? You're the one who killed her! That's right. I killed Mom. I don't deserve to be alive. This place is a tomb. Uh, That's right! Die! Don't come near me! Don't just stand there! Say something! It's your fault! No! Someone help me! The date that Medjid is set for the alleged cleanse is 821. That day is fast approaching. The Phantom Thieves, whom they singled out, have not made any notable actions at this time. Will Medjid carry out their cyber-terrorism? In order to stop them, we need to help Futaba Sakura before the 21st. Our deadline is about two days prior, so the 19th. Meeting up in Shibuya, then coming here is a pain, right? Let's make this place our hideout for a while. Is everyone fine with this place being our next hideout, then? We must take care not to be discovered by Boss. 
There's no telling what may happen inside that pyramid. We all need to be cautious so that place doesn't become our graveyard. Man, this is gonna be one crazy summer vacation. We're dealing with international hackers and looking for a treasure in a pyramid. How can you be enjoying this? This is a crisis of whether or not our group continues on, you know? I know that. That reminds me. While we were in the Mona car, you were staring at me with a dirty look, you perv. Shut up. It was a great view. You guys were looking too, am I right? Indeed. The pyramid's golden ratio was truly a sight to behold. That ain't what I'm talking about. I wasn't staring, Lady On. I'm a gentleman, after all. It's not that you weren't, but that you couldn't since you were transformed, am I right? <sighs> Will we be alright like this? Do it. <laughs> <laughs> 